Hello, what's happening? Matt A.K. Luther Frag here, and today we're doing a very anticipated commentary. I've gotten this question a ton on Twitter, and that is Battlefield 3 versus Modern Warfare 3. Which do I prefer? Now, I'm just going to lead off this commentary saying that gaming is a matter of opinion, and I'm not going to sit here and say that one game is superior to the other, because frankly, after playing both the multiplayers, it's a completely different experience, and I can totally see why somebody would prefer Modern Warfare over Battlefield and vice versa. In my opinion, Battlefield has the better multiplayer. You know, I'm going to talk a little bit about each of the multiplayers and what they bring to the table and why I prefer Battlefield over Modern Warfare. Now, needless to say, this does not mean I won't be playing Modern Warfare 3 a lot and doing commentaries for this game and breakdowns when the theater mode gets working. But honestly, I think Battlefield brought a completely new experience to the game. Um, Battlefield on the PC, you can play up to 64 players. That's 32 versus 32. The maps are absolutely massive. You can drive a tank, you can fly a jet, you can fly a helicopter, you can do, uh, you know, water to aircraft. You can do anything you want in Battlefield, and I really think that's where um, Battlefield really hit the mark as, uh, as far as multiplayer goes and really set the standard for uh, first person shooters to come in the future, in the coming years is that it is so expansive and so massive that you can really do anything you want. You have four different classes to choose from. You can set up any gun you want with a wide variety of attachments. Um, you can you know, you know, can spend the whole game shooting down aircraft and be a benefit to your team, or you can go be a slayer. You can do whatever you want in Battlefield to really take it to the next level. And let's talk about Modern Warfare 3 real quick and what their multiplayer has to offer, which is also pretty immense. It's just my opinion that Battlefield 3 had the better multiplayer, you know, this year. What Modern Warfare brings is a really arcade-style game, and it's ultra-fast-paced, which keeps it really interesting, keeps you wanting to play. I personally have a hard time playing this game for more than four hours at a time, which seems like a pretty large chunk of time, but I'm, I'm pretty addicted to first-person shooters, and most of the time, when I get a new first-person shooter, I have no problem sitting down and playing it for, you know, 8 to 12 hour stretches, no problem. And this game just didn't quite grab me the same way. But what they did bring to the table was even more customization than any Call of Duty to date with the kill streaks and the way the guns work, you know, leveling up your guns. Um, they got a whole new perk system, you know, entire new kill streak system. So they really they did a good job there of bringing a new element. I just had somebody tell me on Twitter that Modern Warfare 3 feels like Modern Warfare 2 if it was perfect. And you know, that's really not that bad of a statement. I think that kind of sums it up. It's an amazing game. It just feels like Modern Warfare 2 improved. And I've said in previous commentaries I'm not going to call it Modern Warfare 2.5 because it's not. And the reason that it's not is all that customization that they added into the game, you know, allowing you to do so much more than you could in previous Call of Duties. Um, I did a commentary on explosive damage and how they nerfed that down to the proper level. They did a lot of work on this game to balance it out, and it's definitely a fun multiplayer experience uh, for everybody involved. Um, obviously there's some server issues, but <laughs> what game does not have server issues when the game comes out? We see this every single time with first-person shooters. And I'm definitely going to give this game a chance, going to play it for, you know, several more weeks, uh, put some serious playtime in, and then I'll be doing another commentary if I change my mind or if my opinion has been swayed at all. But at this very moment, having played Battlefield and Modern Warfare for really about the same time, I really find Battlefield to be a more enjoyable experience for me personally. And once again, the reason for that is, is there's just so much more going on in Battlefield. It really feels like you're in a battlefield. I mean, I'm not a war veteran or anything, but I mean, as far as just personal experience in playing first-person shooters, Battlefield 3 brought the most realistic experience that I've ever played. Um, the maps on Modern Warfare 3 are super tiny, and the maps on Battlefield are absolutely massive. And when I say massive, I mean they are huge. I mean, you would have a really hard time running across the whole map on foot, which is why you have jeeps and tanks and all these other options available to get you across the map. 
I mean, if you try to run on foot across Caspian border, and uh, <laughs> it's going to take you a good minute and a half to get to the other side running at a full sprint. Uh, another thing that Battlefield did that Modern Warfare doesn't really do is your gun kind of feels like a laser in Modern Warfare 3, meaning you know where you aim is exactly where that bullet lands. And while that definitely has some benefits as far as killing goes and making the ease of your kills, um, it's not terribly realistic. I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that if you're looking for a fast-paced arcade shooter, Modern Warfare 3 is definitely the way to go. If you're looking for more of a full game experience, you're looking to really get into the battle, get into the game, you know, Battlefield is where it is at. And they really set a new standard with their new engine, um, you know, for first person shooters. I was extremely concerned that Modern Warfare 3 was using the same engine as, uh, as they have for previous Call of Duties, and I understand why they did this. And I as I've said in other commentaries, I thought they did a very good job of reinventing the engine the way it needed to be reinvented to make the game enjoyable for everyone without feeling like it's the exact same game. But you know what? Battlefield could have done that as well, but they said, we're going to de develop a whole new engine. We're going to bring out Frostbite, Frostbite 2.0 and really step up our game. And they definitely achieved that, and it, it's showing me now that, uh, you know, Battlefield's a great game. And I've tweeted about this a little bit, a uh, little bit of my disappointment in Modern Warfare 3, though I still think it's a great game, that uh, having played Modern Warfare 3, it made me appreciate Battlefield all that much more. And I'm not doing that as a dig on Modern Warfare 3, it's just after playing both games, it really, it really makes you appreciate how immense and involved the Battlefield 3 multiplayer is. And I know, um... I'm really curious to see what the Battlefield people are thinking now that all the um, Call of Duty players have moved over to Call of Duty and aren't in the Battlefield anymore. Curious to see if, you know, spotting has improved, gameplay has improved. Definitely be doing a commentary on that in a few weeks to kind of get the opinions of the Battlefield 3 community. And I guess we can talk about uh, multiplayer community real quick. Um, obviously, I have you know quite a few friends that play. I still play solo quite a bit. I like I don't know why, but I like to do that. But um, you know, I gotta say that Battlefield had the best online community that I've ever seen. I don't know if it's because I'm on PC and not on consoles, but overall the Battlefield community seems extremely mature and you know very good. Like they don't complain about a lot. Even if they have something wrong with the game, they uh, you know they don't they don't go there and bash it. They just kind of you know work through it and they kind of help each other out. So you know I'm really curious to see what's going on with that. But you know right now I'm definitely going to go back and play some Battlefield and I'm really going to enjoy my Battlefield experience even more having now played Modern Warfare 3. Although they're both great games, and I'm just going to have a really hard time splitting all my time between these games. I'm picking up Skyrim tonight, too. So, you know, I got <laughs> I got some time management to do. But I'm definitely producing videos for all three games, but especially Modern Warfare and Battlefield. I have a lot more work to do on Battlefield, and now that Modern Warfare is 3, I'm excited to get back and play that and create more video content. You know, just looking back on it now, when I first played Modern Warfare 3, I was a little bit disappointed after the first night. But then after playing it on the second night, I realized, you know, it's a great game, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But hey, you know, Battlefield took it to the next level. They really stepped up their game, and they produced the definitive first-person shooter experience, in my opinion. I got, I got a lot of work left to do on Battlefield. I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't go back and play it after playing Modern Warfare 3, but that is definitely not the case. It just didn't grab me, you know, the way that I needed it to. Well, maybe not even needed it to. I'm kind of happy that it didn't because, you know, this gives me time to play multiple games. The, a new concept for me in my first-person shooter career. I've always played just Call of Duty, never really had any interest in other games, so... You know, we're going to split it up, produce content for multiple games, and, you know, I'm excited to take my game to the next level and take your guys' game to the next level at the same time. That's about all I got. Brag out.